Hey, what's going on, guys? This is the SS Ultimate Goku uh, back with another video. And uh, today I'm going to be doing the English dub Dragon Ball Super episode um, 63. And, uh, you know, like I said, no spoilers from the original Japanese version because it's retreating as if we just first seen it now. You know, it's the English, and that's how we're doing the reviews. Um, so, uh, yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, joining me again is uh, Richard Cork Kenobi for this review. How are you doing? I'm doing good, man. Happy to be uh, back doing these reviews. And sorry again, guys. We're a little late. We understand we're a little late here. We had life uh, to deal with. So that's why you're kind of getting these episode reviews a little late. But what can you do? Yeah. So, um, okay. So let's start off with uh, this episode 63. Um, so now this is getting to the time where uh, Goku learned how to do the or i guess well no he, he was learning that but uh, we were being reinvented to the evil con uh the evil containment uh wave attack and um they're going back to the future um and uh when they get to the future they, they they're like there you have mm -hmm. uh, well the time machine and you have uh zamasu and uh goku black there you also i believe the beginning stages though of this episode was future trunks was um he was wounded still from the last yes. battle yes um so this episode does um begin before they do go back um um you actually do see the beginning like you said yeah uh goku has now just mastered how to do the evil containment way from master roshi and Vegeta is training in the hyperbolic time chamber, and he actually blows it up. And so they're getting ready to go back, and then we cut back to the future, where um, Trunks is injured, and he's given a sense of being, and he has a hilarious... He thinks, he thinks it's a mirage of... Uh, Ma, uh, yeah. And uh, it ends up being Yajirobe. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Which I thought that was kind of funny, but he was um, like, "Did you ask for? Did you do mouth to mouth?" And he's like, <laughs> "No, I like you, but I don't like you that much." <laughs> so I thought that was kind of funny, but yeah, no. He tells he tells Trunks that Mai took whatever forces they had left to go on a secret uh, assassination of Black and Zamasu. So they actually. Uh, we actually do see them. They found the cabin where they now resign, and we see Black and Zamasu. They're drinking tea, as always, and um, Mai is about to get out a sniper uh, rifle yeah. to take I, out. I'm thinking to myself, I'm, when you're doing the, I'm, like, I'm thinking to myself, Mai, you do realize by now... Like, this shit doesn't work, right? Yes, exactly. Um, <laughs> exactly. So, um, she re but then she tells us that, okay, uh, the bullet that she has, it, uh, w it has more kinetic energy in it than a regular bullet, and it was made by the future Bulma before she died. So, um, and it's only one shot. Now, one thing I had a, I had a problem with this is like, okay, um, if Bulma made, future Bulma, if she made a bullet that has more kinetic energy in it than a regular bullet, don't you think she would have made those type of bullets for the soldiers to have instead of just making one little sniper bullet? Because it, it seems kind of risky, in my opinion, to make just one bullet. But well, she um, needs to make more bullets because it's just like, well, one, I don't even know what these bullets are supposed to do. Like, what was the significance of these bullets uh, to? Basically, yeah, well, I mean, these bullets obviously wouldn't have done anything to Zamasu, future Zamasu. So yeah, Goku. but their objective was Goku Black originally, but I don't see how these bullets could have damaged Goku Black. Like, well, guns I mean, don't hurt people like this. Eh, well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's debatable on if this bullet could have killed Goku Black, but I think it's just for the plot convenience. So anyway, she, she, gets, she gets ready to fire the bullet, and you do see Black and Zamasu, they're talking, and then right when she fires it, it hits Black, he falls down, but it just hits his earring, and he's 
perfectly fine. I thought so, it hit. I, I thought it hit the s- side of his head, but it didn't hit his full head. Yeah, no. Well, it hit. It hit somewhere between the full side of his head and where his earring is. So, yeah. But either well, way, if you, you would have hit him in his forehead, would it really have killed him? <laughs> no, I mean, if anything, it probably just would have. It, it, it would have taken him down, but I don't think it would have killed him. Um, I don't know. Um, but anyway, so they find out that it's the humans, and they get ready to destroy the forest. And Future Trunk shows Future up. Trunk shows um, up, powers up to Super Saiyan, and like yeah, and then he yeah, per- yes. yes, and before he does that, he figures out the plan on how he's going to take down Future Zamasu, and he figures out his weakness. So. He pretty much goes after both of them and he goes after Black and he's just he's pretty much just wailing on them and once again this is shown that his Super Saiyan rage transformation puts him on their level to where he can put up uh, do some damage. So he actually does pretty good damage. Um he at one point get does a Gala gun Yes, he does the gal gun. That was pretty yes. intense right there. Yes, yes, it was. And it's able to... I, I would say it did a lot more damage than I thought it was originally going to do because it sends Black flying past, past trees and mountains, and it ends up putting him into a non-active volcano, and it just leaves him there. It almost makes me think that he did actually succeed in killing him. Um, but then afterwards... Um, well, I don't think it succeeded, but I mean, like, he, you know, he, he did take him out. And I think he's, like, it's really hard to take out Goku Black because he's been pretty dominant throughout the, the arc here. Yes, he has. So, um, but Goku Black is down for the count uh, for now. And now Trunks has to deal with Zamasu. And he ends oh, up. Oh, yeah. I, I, like the, I like the animation part where, like, he, oh, yeah. he goes down, he flies down to the ground. And then you see the sword, and then yeah, you see the, the reflection of Zamasu, like right there. I liked how they did that. That looked really yes. cool. How they set that up. Yes, in fact, the whole like when Trunks fights both Zamasu and Black in this in these first couple of minutes. Oh my God, the action! Once again, like the animation here is top notch. It is way better than the other arcs so far, in my opinion. And but yeah, so they end up going back to the city. And Trunks decides, okay, now he has to give it everything he's got. So he catches Zamasu off guard, and he does. He's about to pretty much he he t- he tells him, "You you th- you can regenerate, you can but what regenerate, I'm doing, but what happens when your whole body's gone?" Exactly. Like, yeah. So he's getting ready now. Not many people have commented about this, but he's doing another one of Vegeta's moves. So. The move he's tr- he tried to do... That was he the was, thing. I was wondering if he was going to explode or something. Like, yeah, like yeah. It, from Majin Buu. He, he was going to do the final explosion that Vegeta did against Majin Buu. So he was willing to um, explode with Zamasu in order to k- take him down. So, um, I don't know if that would have worked, though. No. I mean, it, it, it didn't work with Vegeta, and Buu wasn't immortal. No, but Boo could regenerate, so yeah, like, it would be questionable if it would be enough to kill Well, yeah, but wouldn't he just regenerate, though, because he's invincible? Um, I don't know. I think so, yeah. I mean, Future Trunks did figure out a way to perfectly uh, counter his immortality slash invincibility, but again, I don't know if the final explosion would have done anything, but either way, he gets he gets this close to doing it, but then Black comes back and just stabs him. And yeah, with the pink sword. Yes, <laughs> pink yeah. blade of death. Exactly. Yes, and he literally every tells time him, he does that, I cringe at that. Like I know. It's, yes, it's, and, she just does it out of nowhere. It's just exactly. Like, yes, and he literally tells um, Trunks that that was a good move, and it literally could have killed me, but still nothing. So Trunks is down for the count. And that's when uh, we. Fu- that's when Vegeta, Goku, and Bulma finally show back up for the third or fourth freaking time now. And yes. and speaking of that, um, as soon as they land, Black and Zamasu immediately go over there. Well, and- I think we should also mention that earlier, before Trunks fought the Zamasu and Goku Black, he did. They did had mentioned that, like in the conversation in the little cabin thing, that they were thinking about. You know, when they were coming back, 
that we make sure it's their last fight because they're like the you know, last time they come here because it's like yeah you know they they keep you know cheating by going to you know time back and forth and stuff like this and this leads to the events that we're about to talk about which is Goku and Vegeta come back in the time yeah. machine yes and they do what we get is the first thing when they come out is I believe it was Goku Black that shot the uh, the blast. Yeah, yeah Goku at, Black uh, at the uh, a, time machine. Yeah, he shoots a key blast at the time machine, and he literally says, "Now you can't go anywhere, and this place will be your final grave." And Vegeta counters with saying, uh, "Don't be foolish. Even if we are trapped here, this will be your resting place." And he even says, "We even brought a coffin for you." And I well, no, no, no. Was... He said we were gonna think about bringing a coffin, but yeah. we didn't have one uh, big enough for you. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so uh, pretty much throughout while they're talking, um, like they're both to, they're they're doing what all villains are doing. They're monologuing in front of Vegeta and Goku, and that's when Vegeta realizes, wait a minute, Kakarot, do you have the evil containment wave? And Goku's like, no, I don't have it. I thought you had it. And like, I he, thought you still had it on you. Yes, exactly. And then Goku realizes uh, it was still in the time machine when they, so it's now broken. So pretty much now they're arguing, they're doing the classic Vegeta and Goku arguing, and they decide, okay, you know what, the heck with it. We're going to fight them our way with our fist. So, yeah, and while this is going on, Bulma does. Uh, Put out the fire to the time. Put out machine. the fire to the time machine. Very, <laughs> very, very coincidental. You know, they didn't do that the first time, but for yeah, this, exactly. it's like for she this, for this, machine. for this, it's like uh, we have it all ready. But, you know, in case it gets blown up or whatever. Yeah, know? like later on, like um, we'll get to that later. But she she came prepared in case the time machine were to get destroyed again. So yeah, basically, then afterwards. Um, Gwasu, the uni- the Kai of Universe 10, and the Supreme Kai of Universe of 7. the present time, my Yes, ass. yes, yes, um, the present. We're here, which is one thing to note, too, because I, I don't know if we talked about this, but um, the Supreme Kai of Universe 7 in Trunks' time, he had to have died at some point. Because yes, yes, I believe we did talk about this. We did talk about this because of Boo Saga, because mm-hmm. obviously he talked about the Boo Saga. You know, he helped him in the Boo Saga, of the Boo of their time, which Trunks defeated. Yes, uh, but... Or yes. actually, no, he didn't summon it, I'm sorry. Debor, he killed Debora, and they didn't, they didn't, Boo never got... Boo never got summoned in. Yeah, the yeah, no. Uh, the the universe, uh, the, the Supreme Kai of, of Future Trunks' timeline did recruit trunks to train him to deal with both deborah and bobbity yeah and they never got to resurrect boo because they they killed them yeah but also too it should be noted that i think i did mention this but i'll say it again that when before trunks defeated deborah um deborah actually killed kabito kai and then later supreme kai so all of the kai's Okay, so they were killed. Oh, I don't remember that. Oh. Yeah, yeah, like they okay. did. Like I, well, I, I don't know if he actually k- killed Kabito Kai. He did wound him, but I think he may have died off screen. But he did fi- officially. Wait, he kill. killed Supreme Kai. Then he just killed him. His assistant. No, or? no, he did. No, he, he, he wounded Kabito Kai, but he, uh, but he killed Supreme Kai. So Supreme so Kai. Is- Beerus died then too. Right then. Yeah. And there. Yeah, exactly. The minute like Deborah did that, he died. So yeah, um, but yeah, no. So pretty much then afterwards, Gawasu is telling you know Black that uh, or Zamasu that he's disappointed in him, and Goku actually has to correct him, saying um, it's the other one that was your student. And yeah. Gawasu's like, oh okay. Um, so then he's telling him this and that. He's pretty much giving him you you. I should never have taken you under my wing. Like, this is your chance to redeem yourself. And, of course, Black is not going yeah, to fall. Yeah, Gawasu needed to be a, a stop being an idiot because he literally trusted him until, like, Beerus threw it in his face. Exactly, yeah. So pretty much then, like, like he... So then afterwards, like, I don't even know if Beerus told Gawasu this, but Gawasu says, well, then we'll just get the Super Dragon Balls to fix all this and black black and Zama- features of monster town we destroyed the super dragon ball so now that that's done um yeah like, and that's the thing can't they just use the present day dragon balls to like 
restore well, the, pres- the timeline well, in their future. Well, since Piccolo is dead, and that present day Dragon Balls and future Trunks timeline don't work. No, I mean the Super Dragon Balls. Like at the present day, Greg, couldn't you use the wish on the Super Dragon Balls to like help out the timeline in their timeline, or wouldn't that apply? I have no idea. They never Does, mentioned isn't the Super Dragon Balls like unlimited power. Yeah, like, I have no idea, it. man. I, I don't know. No like, idea. but it, the one thing too, though, is in the future timeline, they never, they never talk about the Namek Dragon Balls. They never have said if the Namek Dragon Balls are still around or not. They never use them. This is a plot hole in Dragon Ball Z. But, yes, um, yes it is. And it, it is. They still never not acknowledge it to this day in either the anime or the manga. So, yeah. So, I mean, is. there is that possibility. <laughs> there is, yeah. But either way, so pretty much then afterwards, this is one of my favorite scenes. So pretty much then afterwards... Um, Oh, yeah, Goku, Goku then falls down after this, too. That like, yeah, and he's like, oh, no, and then Goku and, then and Vegeta. Goku's like, and then that means if Trunk dies, then he's dead forever. But I'm thinking to myself, well, what happens if Vegeta and Goku die in this time? Did they yeah, can still be resurrected in their, like, timeline? I have no idea. Time time travel is a bitch. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so pretty much then afterwards, um, both Go- Goku Black and Zamasu prepare to kill Gawasu again, but this time Goku and Vegeta block it, already go Do we also, to- I should mention that Bulma did open up a garage, too. Yeah, yeah, like, she does. She, she does open up a garage, and we'll get to yeah. that later. Uh, but, yeah, so they go straight to Blue, and they block the attack, and they literally tell... Gawasu and Supreme Kai to get out of the, to get out, but get out. Gawasu, Gawasu says is like I'm no. staying here, and Supreme Kai is also staying. So this this brings yeah, it back because, because this, it's like why do you guys are like here? Like you guys can't do shit. So why exactly? Do you- <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. So pretty much then Goku and Vegeta actually do kind of insult them saying, well, if you do, like, why are you even here? Like, they even say, well, okay, well, if you stay here, we're not, like, get, just stay out of our way. So it kind of harkens back to when Goku threatened to blast apart uh, Supreme Time whenever he was about to fight Majin Vegeta. It kind of reminded me of that this time around. So, um, yeah, but then afterwards, they... Like, Goku's asking Vegeta, okay, so who are you going after? And Vegeta obviously says, the uh, one who the looks like you. Exactly. And so they both go after them, and everyone flies off, and that's when Bulma opens up the garage, and we find out, oh, no, Trunks is alive. Um, he's, he's fine. And to be fair, I mean, characters who get stabbed in Dragon Ball, like, they, they always tend to be fine, especially... Also, too, I would think after Go after Trunks took a Sensu Bean... I don't really think the stab wound really would have killed them. Um, yeah, no. So, yeah. So then afterwards, they get re- she's getting ready to repair the time machine, but she also tells him to help repair the um, the the evil containment wave. Containment which, wave. Which, and <laughs> what's really funny about this is like you know she's explaining it like how it works and stuff like that. They have to put it back together with this glue and stuff like this. Like yeah. this would actually work on this jar, like to put every piece back together somehow. Exactly, uh, and this right is a space. and this is an old fragile jar. So the fact that super glue, which it was super glue, they just forgot to subtitle it. Um, and so, yeah, the fact that super glue is going to fix well, it they back call, to... Well, they called it glue. Yeah, but no, in the Japanese version, they, they subtitle it as, as super glue. So wow. it, is, it is super glue. Um, but yeah, so then afterwards, um, we do cut back to the fight. Well, we... I also want to bring up while they're talking about this whole evil containment wave oh, thing. Yeah, like, sure. I just thought it was kind of funny how like they all looked at one another when this was like going on like my just looked like dumbfounded when like this like yeah. she was talking about this evil containment way yes thing. exactly <laughs> like i was like wait this i'm thinking like my was like wait th- this could actually trap them why did we use this before <laughs> i know because master roshi is still alive somehow in trunks's universe he's gotta is be he, is he alive I, th- I mean, he he was he was alive in the special. I mean, when Trunks was 
when future Gohan was there, so he's got to be alive. I mean, he well, wouldn't he have been killed by that point because didn't all the androids have been killed like everyone? No, like... they they did they didn't kill Master Roshi. Master Roshi was able to survive, uh, so he's one of the only ones left. But I don't know where they don't acknowledge where he is in Future Trunks' timeline. He, the he's last pro- he's probably like he's probably like still looking at a uh, launch or some shit like that. <laughs> probably so. Yeah, but then afterwards. That's this is where we see the fight. We see Goku fight future Zamasu, and he they're pretty much just talking. And so, there's really not much fighting here, but they are having a good throwback. But it's really Vegeta and Goku Black, yeah. That, yeah, yeah, they mostly focused on Vegeta and Goku Black in this, which wasn't Goku here, yes, uh, which was I think awesome this was fight. mainly, I think this was more due to the fact that the last battle they focused more on Goku and future Zamasu. Yeah, um, and so, Vegeta, and now yes. they are focusing more on Vegeta in this fight with Goku Black, and Which, they really get into the intensity of the fights. Like exactly, Vegeta basically dissed Goku Black the entire time. How yes, that, you know, you're not a true Saiyan. You'll never yes, the heart yes, and we'll of get to that. Is and stuff. This this was awesome in the Japanese, and it was awesome to hear Christopher Sabat uh, portray this in the English dub. Like Vegeta is just wrecking Goku Black over and over, and Goku Black's even dumbfounded, saying, "How is his power level? How how is there a difference in power levels between us?" So it is it's over nine thousand. Exactly. Yeah. So pretty much then, like this is where it gets awesome. So he punches him into an into one of the buildings, and he tells him like you. You're nothing. You're nothing but an interloper. You're like every every cell in that body is it belongs to a Saiyan. Like he even tells him, like this Kakarot. Like he literally quizzes him on Goku's body. Like Goku spent years agonizing battles to perfect that body, but you won't ever understand it because you're an imposter. Imposter, and, and you'll never be like that, like clown. that clown. Which, which in the Japanese version, he literally. He doesn't call Goku a clown. He just says, you'll never be like that idiot. So still, Vegeta does insult Goku. But it is funny that he pretty much tells him that, yeah, like, Goku, the reason Goku's so powerful is because he had years upon years of battles to perfect that body. Or as Goku Black, he just stole it. So then afterwards, um, this is where we get the awesomest scene, where... Um, where pretty much Vegeta answers him saying, because you're just a fake. I'm the real deal. The almighty Prince Vegeta. And he just powers up like and Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. That's yeah. where it ends. I've been, and that was an awesome way to end it. I thought that was an awesome way. Just having him declare he's the real deal. He is the prince. Which we yeah, have it not. Was, it was good. It was a good solid episode. I, I yeah, it was. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the oh, action yeah. the action with Trunks at the beginning was one of my favorite parts, and the end battle with Vegeta and Goku Black, that was another good highlight. But yeah, no, you were right. Like there was less of an uh, there was less of um there there was less more on Goku and more about Vegeta and Trunks in this episode. Yeah, there was kind of sucks because Goku was the main guy, but I mean no. we had to give some love to some of the other people here. Yeah, so I thought this was a good episode. It really was good to hear. Go, uh, it was really, it was really good to hear the English dub uh, version of this, and I loved it. It was a great episode. I really don't think there's anything more I can say about it. Yeah, it was, it was great, solid episode. Um, um, and as I mean, as we go forward with this, because there's only I think a few more episodes left, but we still yeah. have to review the next one. But um. Uh, once they have uh, the other episodes coming up, um, it's going to be really interesting to see what they do next to follow it, because um, so far I think this has been the best arc, honestly, so far. Yes, um, I agree. The other ones, uh, it has, it's had the most action, and it's, you know, it's getting back to that more Dragon Ball Z feel to it. Um, Xenoverse is more a martial arts type feel, because um, they weren't fighting to kill, well, at least most people weren't. Mm-hmm. Uh, supposed to be um so uh you know uh, this definitely feels like more of the action more of the, the villain versus the uh hero uh type thing which uh it's gonna 
and at some point, hopefully, and uh, hopefully, you know, Goku and uh, Vegeta can like uh, find a way to win this. <laughs> but um, as I want to just say, you know, um, uh, the stuff, all the groups, description as well. Um, but I also want to say, you know, uh, guys, that you have nothing else to say, right, about the episode. Yeah, no, it was it was pretty it was a pretty solid episode. Okay, so all the groups in the description box. Um, also, I just want to say, um, you know, go check out Richard Korkenobi's channel as well. Uh, he does videos and stuff, all that stuff too. Um, but I also would like to say, like I said, uh, Dragon Ball Super pre-order for um the up uh, well the last chunk of episodes that are going to be available uh, with Trunks on the cover, future Trunks on the cover. Um, that is going to be out, uh, I believe, June 29th or June 19th, somewhere around there. Uh, pre-order mm-hmm. um, for Blu-ray DVD. I've already pre-ordered that. Um, yes. That should do, too. Uh, Funimation now is going to be having some episodes at some point, if they're not already, um, coming up, um, as well as Adult Swim stream mm-hmm. thing they have it as well too that's where you can legally watch the uh dubbed episodes um but yeah that's i think that's all the information um but uh yeah that's about it guys uh comment rate if you like this video my videos, please subscribe um and that's about it um i am the uh ss ultimate goku and i'm out of here peace later guys